What if a kid enters the back room somehow? Take this kid for example, this 11 year old named Billy. Do you think Billy could survive the infinite labyrinth that we all know and love? This is a question that a lot of people have been asking those backroom shorts YouTubers, and all of them give terrible answers. If a kid enters the back rooms, three positive things will happen. Firstly, most of the levels will be really safe. They say that the back rooms will be easier or the entities will be nicer. So I'm here to explain what actually would happen if a kid did get sent to the back rooms. For this video, I'm gonna be sending Billy to four different popular backrooms levels, and I'll be going over his chances of survival and the benefits and the downfalls of being a small child in the back rooms. So if you think you'll enjoy this analysis, drop a like. I'm not sugarcoating things like all those shorts people do. Let's get into it, shall we? So glitching into the back rooms is never a fun thing to do or think about, right? Most of the time when people think about no clipping, they imagine, I guess, like older teenagers or adults no clipping. But if people those ages can glitch into this place, you know, what's stopping children from doing so as well? For the sake of this video, I'm going to go over what I think would happen to Billy if he got sent to level zero, level 11, the pool rooms, and level fun. And I picked these levels because most of y'all know everything about them and you'd understand the analysis more that way. All right, so let's get into this hypothetical situation, shall we? Before I do, let me know in the comments if you think Billy's surviving or not. So if Billy got sent to Backrooms Level Zero, here is what I think would happen. Billy would start off extremely confused and probably would freak out and start crying a little bit, as 11-year-olds do. They'd be horrified that they have no one that they know with them. Their mom, their dad, their siblings, nobody's there. I'd say they'd be this way for around mm, 30 minutes to an hour. They'd be freaking out and hyperventilating and stuff. But after that, I think Billy would start to walk around and try to see where his surroundings are, try to gauge where he's at. While walking around the labyrinth of level zero, Billy might stumble upon an entity. Now, if Billy did run into an entity, a few different things could occur. Now, if we're assuming the average 11 year old boy is around 4.6 feet tall or 143 centimeters, then they'd be a much smaller target for entities in the back rooms. And they'd actually be too small to even be considered prey, as well as they'd probably just be able to run right under the eye line of the entities that are here. So they might not even be able to see Billy. A lot of these people that upload the shorts about this say that the level would be easier for them or somehow the entities would be less dangerous or the environment would be easier. But as I've said before in this video, that's that's just not true, man. That doesn't make any sense. The level would be the same as it is for everyone. But the kid would have the advantage of being smaller and unassuming and less hostile looking. So being small is good for entity attacks, but it's also good for stealthy walking and exploring because entities would be way less likely to hear a little kid running around than a full grown loud adult. And if the entity did somehow see Billy running around the back rooms, he would be able to hide in smaller little crevices and go through smaller doorways and go through smaller corridors that entities and adults might not be able to fit in. But there also would be several disadvantages of Billy being in level zero. One bad thing is that there's no way Billy is as strong as an adult or as fast, which means, you know, they run slower and they couldn't fight anything off if it jumped on them. And that is the main disadvantage of being a kid in level zero. You can't really run that fast. You can't climb as tall because you're not, you're not as tall yourself. But like I said, on the other hand, it would be easier for Billy to slip into cracks between walls or small holes or small doorways or crawl through something to evade entities and other dangers. So do I think 11 year old Billy could survive and make it out of level zero onto level one? I think they could. I think Billy's got this. I think at the end of the day, he could probably survive if he figured out how to no clip. As long as he wasn't crying like a little baby, then I think he'd be fine. Now on to level 11. So if 11 year old Billy made his way all the way here, a few good things would probably happen to him. I'll go over them first and they'll do the bad things. Firstly, he'd probably actually meet adults in level 11 since it's kind of populated, kind of like a hub. You know, but there are still adults here and people here that Billy could stay close to and travel with and be kind of like this impromptu family. You know, he wouldn't be alone then. There would be like adults looking after him. That would be a good thing. The worst part for Billy if he got sent to level 11 would be Billy getting lost in the city of level 11, especially 
especially since, you know, an 11 year old isn't really the best with directions and this level is an infinite sprawling city, it would be pretty easy for Billy to become overwhelmed and lose his direction and lose where he's at. Another thing that might happen to Billy is that he could accidentally take one of the many exits to leave level 11 and get sent to a dangerous level. You know, there are, there are exits to like level Run For Your Life, level 666 in level 11, so he's not going to know where these exits are, which means he could easily walk into a door or something and get sent there unknowingly. So do I think Billy could survive level 11? Yes and no. I think if Billy finds people and a safe environment to stay in with those people, I think he'd be fine. But I think if you drop Billy alone in the city, in a far outer rim of the city where there's nobody at and just, you know, entities, I think he would get lost in the infinite expanse of concrete. Now, what if Billy got sent even deeper into the back rooms, all the way to the pool rooms level? This level is actually one that I think a kid could probably legitimately survive fairly easily. If Billy can swim, he'd probably have a really fun time here, you know, swimming around. Plus, he could drink the almond water, which would sustain him for food and water forever, pretty much. And it's literally all over the place. He wouldn't run out. Plus, there's not really any bad entities. Well, in the main part, at least. But that does lead us to the part of the pool rooms where Billy might not be able to make it through. So the pool rooms, as you all know, is chocked full of a ton of sub-levels and sub-layers, you know, places with dangerous entities and environments that you can find yourself in before you even know what hits you. Like the deep end, for example, or the purple pool rooms, or the drained pool rooms. All of these sub-levels are very bad news for anybody, but especially Billy, since he's a little kid, he would have a tough time running away from these entities or not swimming in these dangerous waters or not getting lost in a deep chasm of the pool rooms. So do I think that Billy could survive the pool rooms? Yes, in the main normal level of it. But if somehow Billy wandered too deep into the pool rooms and got sent to like a sub level, like the purple rooms or the deep end or something like that, where there's entities or dangerous water and, you know, diseases and whatnot, I don't think Billy would make it out because I don't think he would know any better. And I think we'd lose poor Billy. So finally, what if Billy gets sent all the way to level fun, the home of the party goer entity, human meat cakes, and you know, just, just a grand old time? I'd say if Billy woke up here, he would notice the calm colors of the birthday tables and the balloons and the hats and the cakes, and he would probably actually feel comfortable more than any other level that I've talked about in this video today. And that exactly is where the problem is. Billy would start walking around, touching everything, not having a care in the world. You know, he'd be just chilling, looking at all this party stuff. In fact, it might look like an environment Billy has seen before, maybe one of his birthdays or his friend's birthdays or something, so he'd think it's a safe place to be, since it looks like that. Until he saw the entities, at least, I guess. So if a party goer starts to chase Billy, he actually might be able to evade them by, again, hiding in smaller places or being too small for the party goers to see when he's running around. Party goers are big entities, you know, they're over 7 feet tall, and Billy's only like 4.7 feet tall, so it'd be pretty easy for him to evade them. But then again, level fun is kind of like the pool rooms where the deeper you go, the worse off you actually are and the more weird the sublevels get and all that jazz. Of course, there's also level fun plus, and we both know that Billy ain't making out of that level. So could Billy survive level fun? No, I, absolutely not. There's there's literally no way. I'm sure the party goer end up getting him, of course, unless Billy had Brugley there with him to help him out, you know? But if he didn't have me, he'd be toast. I mean, he'd probably be turned into a cake. I'm not going to sugarcoat it there. All right. That is my thoughts on if a kid could survive in the back rooms or what if a kid got into the back rooms, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a pretty fair estimate. Let me know your thoughts below. If you want more videos of Billy trying to explore more levels, I could also do that. This is pretty fun to make. But I just wanted to make this video because all these shorts YouTubers, man, they just be making up stuff. I don't know why. Why would the back rooms be easier? Now, yes, like I said, there are pros and cons both of a kid get us into the back rooms. They're smaller. You know, they're not as loud. They can hide in places. And then the entities might not be able to see them. But at the end of the day, they're not a strong, you know, adult. They can make good decisions. They don't have a developed brain. So, yeah. That, that's all blabbering, I know, but that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for your support. Y'all are the best. Love and appreciate you, and I'll see you on any of my socials or my next video. Peace and love.